Good afternoon, everybody. It's Easter Sunday, March 31st, 2024, and this is April Davis PI. Wow, I have awesome news. I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Yes, <laughs> I can't even believe it. I may go do a live. I don't think I'll do it today because it's Easter and I will be back in the hospital next week. So I'm not sure of the timing of the live, but I wanted to go over a few things. Some of the things I did right, some of the things I did wrong. So let's start out with when I started. I started December 27th, 2020. I had just survived cancer, decided to do it for fun, had no intention of being monetized. But over the years, when I saw the channel expenses adding up, I decided to go for it. Now, because I don't have a niche channel, which is what I'd highly recommend that someone else do, it took a long time for my YouTube to catch on. In fact, it took 1,189 days. Yes, you heard me right. 1,000. 189 days. That took three years, three months, three days. That's where I get that 1189 figure. If I had to start all over again, I would do a niche channel or I would recommend to you folks who want to start a channel to do a niche channel. Now, one month ago, I did hit 500 subscribers. And YouTube recently started a new monetization program where you're only required to have 500 subscribers and 3,000 watched hours in the last 365 days. But there's a catch to that. They don't pay for channel views. No, you don't get paid for any of your video views with that number of subscribers. And that's how people make money on YouTube. But they do give you access to super chats or super stickers um, on your lives or on your premieres. They also put a little icon beneath your videos that will say super thanks. So somebody watching the video at a later time, if it wasn't a live or it wasn't a premiere, they can just go into your videos and they can send you a super thanks. Now I only had that turned on for the first, well, for a month before I hit a thousand and I never received a super thanks, a super chat, or super sticker but with health issues I'm not set up to do many lives so I really other than the super thanks that's the only way that that 500 mark would have helped me and that 500 mark made me zero now in the weeks following I hit 600 700 and it seemed like towards the end it went really fast it just jumped up to 900 and then very quickly a thousand. So it took me, you know, three years and two months to get to 500. It took me a month only to get to a thousand. And I did try out a few little tricks here and there. I'm not sure I'll reveal what they are yet, but I did everything legally because once you go on YouTube and if you put your email contact out there, you'll be getting scam emails from everybody from all over the world. Uh, people saying that, you know, they'll help you grow your channel and they'll help you grow your subscribers. And you never want to sign up for anything like that because those are just fakes, fake subscribers, fake views, they're bots. And if YouTube catches on to that, not only would they take all those subscribers away, but when you go to get monetized, they wouldn't turn you on. In fact, they could actually sh shut your channel down. So don't ever go that route so that you can quickly gain subs. That's definitely not the way to do it. Thank God I never fell into that trap. Um, I wouldn't have the money to do that anyway right now, but thank goodness I never tried that, and I just earned it the old-fashioned way. But I did do a few things towards the end that speeded it up, uh, at least so I think. Um, I can talk more about that later. But it definitely, a few things I tried definitely helped me out in the end. Um, but now, now that I've reached a thousand subs, I don't get paid 
for any of my prior views prior to that day. So on the day that I hit, I had approximately 254,733 views. Those views count for nada, nothing. They do not back pay for those views. So now I feel like I got to start all over again. And I really could have used that money because I subscribe to Epidemic Sound. I subscribe to uh, a software program that, that removes clips for me. Um, all the editing programs I have are free, as you can probably tell from my, my lack of editing. I haven't spent money on editing. Um, I did put uh, some subtitles in a recent video that were Japanese, and I had to pay for that. It cost me like 10 bucks. So there are expenses between cameras, um, batteries, um, camera equipment, lighting, microphones, Wi-Fi mics, which I haven't used very much. I always walk out of the house and forget them. I should carry those in my purse just in case. There's just expenses. And someone, a wife of a very famous YouTuber, in fact, he was the first professional YouTuber ever that earned for YouTube. His wife had mentioned to go into the YouTube Studio app and that they had some uh, free music. But I used some of that music and it was later deemed uh, copyrighted music. And then those videos had copyright claims, but not copyright strikes. There's a big difference between a claim and a strike. And you certainly never want to have a strike. If you do, just take that video down immediately. Luckily, I've never had a strike. I do have a few videos that I am allowed to share copyrighted content, but I don't get any of the monetization for it, whether my channel is monetized or not. Even now that I'm monetized, I would never get, you know, a million people can watch those videos if it's shared, and I'll never see a penny. The original content creator would see that. But those kind of videos can blow up and they can give you the views, or not the views, but the, uh, the subscriber count that you need uh, to make it to a thousand. Uh, if you see something funny, you know, you can share it on the internet. But it's shared content, so you will never see a penny from that. But it will help build your channel, it will help build your following. There's all kinds of little tricks. Uh, I found a couple towards the end that I thought, I'm going to try this, well, then I'm going to try that. And it started to work, and I, and I started to figure out the algorithm. You know, of course, now that I've been monetized for what, uh, two days now? Was it two days? Three days. Yeah, I, I don't even know. What day? It happened on the 29th. Yes, and today's the 31st. Two days. All the stuff of being in the hospital has affected my brain, let me tell you. Um, now, like I said, I never intended to be monetized. I just did this for fun, but because of all the expenses, I changed my mind and I started going for that goal. But now that none of the former views count, I need people to watch my channel. Even if you're just watching it in the background and you're just looping the videos over and over and over again, because it takes a long time to get paid on YouTube. First, you have to earn at least $100, then they pay a month behind. So let's say, because it just got monetized, if I earned um, $100 in April, I wouldn't see the money until the end of May. And I really don't think I'll make $100 in April unless, you know, I go live and someone sends me a heck of a lot of super chats or super stickers congratulating me on my amazing feat. And it's really not that amazing if it took 1,189 days. Gosh, maybe you shouldn't even be watching me. Maybe you should just tune out. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, last I checked, uh, yesterday I was up to 1,007, but I think I lost a couple overnight. So last time I checked, I was at like 1,005. So thank you to all 1,005 of you or anybody new who's watching this who's just interested in how to reach 1,000 subscribers. Um, you're welcome to join. You're welcome to subscribe. The more the merrier. You guys are my YouTube family. I love you all, and thank you very much for watching. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.
do this every day And I'm still so amazed 